Today I'm going to talk about these two lapel microphones. I have an Aspen microphone that's a $40 microphone and then I have a, uh, it's called Matchstick Madness. I think it's made by MM Audio. Um, I got this one from B&H, this one from uh, Amazon. And today we're going to do a comparison of the two microphones. So what I have here is uh, two Zoom recorders that they're hooked up to. This is usually how I do my lapel setups uh, at weddings. And both of these are set on 70. And through this video, I'm going to go back and forth and see if you guys can see the uh, audio quality difference. I think it's very little, but it's enough for me to choose the more expensive uh, expensive one. Like I said, this is a $40 one. This is about a $120 uh, microphone. So uh, in this video, I'm gonna do no EQing on the audio. I'll probably just normalize it. And now I'm gonna do a test of the noise. So right now these uh, Zoom H1s are both set on a level of 70. And so now I'm gonna go silent. I'm gonna crank them both up to 100 and do a test of the background noise. So yeah, you guys kind of let me know your thoughts. Um, in some situations, I think the $40 microphone is, is totally doable. Um, to me, it's a little bit more muffled. You have to do a little bit more EQing. Um, the other one is a little bit crisper, a little bit cleaner, not as much background noise. Um, so you have to record at a higher level. So that way when you uh, normalize it, you're, you're not bringing up the volume and introducing a lot of the background noise so it's a little bit safer when you record at a lower level with the matchstick madness um, when you normalize and bring all the levels up you're less likely to bring up a lot of that background noise this is what the in-body camera sounds like so you can see the big difference of why somebody would want to use one of these so like I said I use these for weddings put them on the groom the minister um, I'll use them for YouTube videos sometimes when I'm doing training videos and I want to plug it directly into the camera. I'll do that too. So you guys give me your thoughts. Um, right now this is my go-to recorder. I use the Zoom H1s and this one is hooked up to the Aspen and then my secondary one is the uh, Matchstick Madness. So leave your comments below. Let me know what you guys think of the auto quality in these.